Kentucky, the bluegrass country. Rich, historic, productive. Nourisher of thoroughbreds. The traditional beauty of the bluegrass country makes a striking background for the city it created, Louisville. Louisville, a modern city. Louisville, an action city. of the Kentucky Derby. Home of the Louisville Swagger. Handcrafted to meet the personal specifications of big league players, recognized as the world's finest. And of course, to people who operate and service trucks, especially the big ones. Louisville is known as the place where Ford has built the world's greatest truck plant to assemble the medium, heavies, and extra heavies, including the outstanding Ford Louisville line. Designed the new line of heavy trucks required, Ford was able to call on the best equipped, most sophisticated engineering design complex of the industry. At the Ford Motor Company Research and Engineering Center in Dearborn, staffed by men with long experience in heavy truck design. They developed the Louisville line of Ford trucks, the most advanced in the industry. And at each stage of design of these great units, the product design engineers reviewed their designs with the manufacturing process engineers to be sure the product could be assembled to the highest possible standard of quality. The designers wanted the best plant in the world to build the best truck in the world. The entire complex covers 430 acres of land, almost a mile square larger than many small towns. All assembly operations on all units take place in this single main plant building, covering nearly 60 acres, so that it's the largest truck assembly plant in the world under one roof. These unusual structures create a sort of outer space or moonscape scene, but their purpose is very practical. They are ventilating and heating units, mostly individually gas-fired, which burn exceptionally clean, making the facility a good neighbor in the bluegrass country. For greater efficiency, there are entirely separate areas for specialized operations. For example, the dynamometer building. Separate preconditioning building. The supply center in which some high demand units are stocked. And the modification center. Even a road test area an industry exclusive.
When we enter the main assembly building, we can see that there is a simple reason why this part of the facility is so huge. Heavy trucks are specialized vehicles involving many separate assembly operations. Each one of these requires a sizable amount of space. The designers of the Ford Kentucky truck plant provided that space under one roof with centralized control so that assembly operators and quality control men can work efficiently, doing a quality job at each stage of assembly. The chassis buildup area is one good example. Notice that chassis buildup begins with the frame upside down on pedestal type conveyors which carry the frames crosswise to the assembly line. This gives workmen and quality control men adequate space to work both inside and outside the frame area and permits production of more units on each line. To bring each workman the materials he needs without using valuable workspace for storage requires the most advanced materials handling system in operation anywhere. Double tiered racks along the aisles give operators access to materials which are supplied from tow carts placed at strategic points along the production lines. These tow carts bring parts from a computer-controlled warehouse complex that is truly a marvel of modern technology. Key inspection stations are located on the final lines for inspection of exhaust connections, under cab wiring, hose connections, and front end. Roll test facilities are provided here, and inspection checks are performed at this location to certify lights, gauges, speedometer, and tachometer installations. In some truck plants, this would be truly the end of the line for quality control. However, here it is just a beginning. All heavy and extra heavy units enter this separate dynamometer facility. And here they get a full dynamometer check of engines, transmissions and brakes to detect and correct malfunctions. Next, an industry exclusive, the eight and a half mile road test for the largest models. This curving road facility gives the test driver a chance to test the vehicle under operating conditions, checking for functional defects which might not be spotted on the chassis dynamometer. Here, all units go through this separate preconditioning facility. There's an individual water leak test for every cab type and repair facilities to handle any leaks or other defects. And then, the final vital step in this building customer acceptance inspection. Here, the unit is certified as meeting the highest standards of truck quality, ready for delivery to the customer, or to the new modification center, located immediately adjacent to the Ford Kentucky truck plant, where special bodies or other equipment can be added. In some cases, there's further inspection at the plant by the customer himself. 
for example, when the first unit is a pilot model for a series ordered by a fleet account. Here, in this special well-lighted area, the fleet buyer can inspect the pilot model before further units are run. Just one more example of the total devotion to customer satisfaction people expect from the Ford Kentucky truck plant, where the better idea trucks are built.